Jeff. You know, I just can't stop thinking about Kelly. Kelly told us last night how important cancer research funding is to saving her life. And Kelly has important milestones that she wants to reach. She wants to see her children, her beautiful children, graduate from high school. Who wants to help Kelly see her kids graduate? <laughs> me too, and I am so glad you're with me because there is a way that you can help ensure that cancer research is funded. I'm here today as a proud board member of the American Cancer Society Cancer Action Network, ACS CAN. I'm also a proud relayer, of course. My cancer journey started many years ago. When I was 20 years old, in 1977, I heard the words, you have cancer. I had a particularly nasty form of acute leukemia, and I was given a 0% survival rate. Imagine, 20 years old and no hope. In one day, my priorities shifted. My greatest concerns had gone from just acing my midterms and fitting into my skinny jeans by the weekend to fighting for my life, wanting to cheat the odds long enough to celebrate one more birthday. But in the years before my diagnosis, researchers were working on brand new drugs and they had just started combining those brand new drugs. And that combination of brand new drugs put me into remission, a remission from which I've never relapsed. <laughs> Research saved my life. Research is why I am standing here today, decades after my diagnosis and we insist on the same result for Kelly. The need is urgent because there are cures brewing in the minds of brilliant scientists, growing in petri dishes in the lab, swirling in beakers, but it takes years of continued funding to push those cures out of the lab and into clinical trials, and finally, out into the community where they can save lives. But the contrary is also true. Every brilliant idea that is not funded, that doesn't get out of the lab, means that people will suffer and die needlessly. I am alive because of cancer research. The very research dollars that ACS CAN fights for every day. I want to repeat that the need is urgent because Kelly can't wait. Our loved ones can't wait. Through Relay for Life, we all work hard to raise money to fund research through the American Cancer Society to find a cure, right? Last year, ACS contributed $119 million towards cancer research, and that was a direct result of your efforts. But then in addition to the $119 million from ACS, the federal government funded $5 billion of cancer research. The federal government invested 30 times more in cancer research than the American Cancer Society. The US government is the single largest funder of cancer research in the world. But our esteemed elected officials don't fund cancer research at that level out of the goodness of their heart. They do it because they hear a constant drumbeat for cancer from cancer advocates that cancer funding must be a national priority they did it because of the ACS CAN members' voices. I want to tell you a little more about ACS CAN, but first, let me draw your attention to the membership form. It's at your seats. And soon I'm going to be asking you to join ACS CAN and let your voice be heard for only $10 or $20, but feel free to give more. So you can begin filling that form out right now, because that's how you can fight back every day. 
ACS CAN is the nation's leading nonpartisan cancer advocacy organization that is working every day to make cancer a national priority. Because many of the most important decisions that affect your cancer journey don't happen in your doctor's office. They happen in Washington, D.C., in Congress, in the White House, in your state legislatures. Together, we are able to hold lawmakers accountable for their words and their actions. And that is why we encourage every single relayer to become a member of ACS CAN. We talked a lot about the history of Relay for Life, and ACS CAN and Relay have a long history too. As relayers, we want to fight cancer every way that we can. Our passion can't be matched. And we've been working together, channeling that passion since the first celebration on the Hill in 2002, which was like a gigantic relay for life around the Capitol Hill reflecting pool in Washington, D.C., where volunteers from every single congressional district in the United States met with their lawmakers to talk about, ca about cancer issues. And we won many victories for cancer patients through celebration. In 2003, we partnered to collect over 20,000 picture of cure forms, and we delivered those to Congress. In 2006, we hosted Celebration on the Hill again, and we, this time we brought over 4,000 volunteers to D.C. to talk up with their lawmakers, talk about the power of a big, loud, purple voice that day. Together, we've saved mammograms through our Red Bra campaign, and we brought the Fight Back Express all over the country. Let's continue that strong history of working together by every single person here joining ACS CAN. It's only a minimum $10 for an annual membership, but I know many of you are waiting for us to reveal what the 2015 premium membership gift is for a $20 donation. If you visited our ACS CAN Cafe yesterday, you might have already seen it. It is our new Charm keychain. And the exciting thing about this keychain is you can add a new charm every year. Now some of you have already joined and already have this. Let's hear that from hear from those folks. So it's your job to talk to everybody at your table and make sure that they sign up too and that they add their voices to yours talking to our legislators. So fill out your membership forms at your seats. Go ahead, do it right now. I should be seeing pens coming out of purses now, pulling them out of your suit pockets. If you are already a member and you're not sure if it's time to renew yet, because you do have to renew every year, at least once a year, don't worry, I have the list right here. Your renewal is today. So do it right now and get your keychain. I have a number of helpers all around the room. Helpers, can you wave? So our helpers are ready to pick up your forms, and if you've donated $20 or more, they will give you your ACS CAN bling. So pick up your pen, raise your hands when you're ready for it to be picked up, and let's have our voices heard. Pen's coming out. I see it happening. I see your hands going up. More, more. Let's go. Who's going to join us and have their voices heard with Congress? Doesn't matter if it's not renewal time, it's today. All right, keep working on your forms, but while you're finishing up your membership forms, there's one more thing I'd like to ask of you. Please, when you go back to your communities, share the message that ACS CAN and Relay for Life are better together. Share this with your committee, with your team captains, your team members, your community. Let everyone know that their voice is essential to finishing the fight. To help you do this, we're going to be releasing Kelly's video on YouTube. And also, if you go to acscan.org relay, you'll see a PowerPoint and a script for you to use. And finally, we know that relayers 
tend to be a little bit competitive, and we love to accomplish milestones, and we love recognition. So who's heard of the ACS Can Club? So take the challenge today and make your event become an ACS Can Club by recruiting 40 members, and you get to show this awesome banner at your event and display it proudly. And teams can get in on the action too. Any team that recruits 10 members gets an awesome yard sign. They can display it at their campsite. So thank you so much for your support of ACS CAN. Thank you in advance for bringing your voice, your collective voice, together to the fight against cancer because we are better together. My name is Lori Bremner. I've been relaying since 1996. I'm a cancer survivor, and I am so proud to say that Relay for Life is 30 years strong. Yeah.